if I can help anybody save some money, if you are a DIYer like me, uh, on my RV water heater, the it was working on electric, but it wasn't working on propane. So I checked everything out. I mean, I know my gas is good, but anyways, it turns out that uh, I wasn't getting power to the gas regulator, the gas valve. And the fuses were good. Everything was good. So. I, I went inside the water heater, pulled out the circuit board, looked it over this side, everything looked good, none of the contacts were swollen. But anyway, I turned it over, started checking the soldering connections one by one. And lo and behold, I found two of them that were actually burnt. That one right there, and that one right there. They weren't really burnt, they just lost their solder connection. So I re-soldered them back together. Not a very good soldering job, but that's not the point. And then I found this contact was actually burnt on the board itself. So I took my soldering iron, melted back the plastic, ran a solder bead from there to there, and made the connection again. Plugged it back in, hit the button, and it fired right up. So if anybody's looking to save about 70 bucks and you're not afraid to try it, it took me about five minutes with the soldering iron. And now it works fine.